disproportionation reactions, that's when the same element, and in this case that's going to be mercury, becomes both oxidized and reduced. And the mercury chloride in the beginning here, chlorine is negative one, there's two of them, so that means mercury, the two mercuries have to equal plus two, so you divide by two because there's two of them, and you get an oxidation state of plus one for the mercury over here. Over here, mercury is neutral, it has a zero oxidation state. Then over on here, mercuric chloride, chlorine, each is negative one, so there are two of them, so two times negative one gives you a charge of negative two, which means the mercury here has to be plus two to balance it out. So mercury is both oxidized, it went from plus one to plus two, and also reduced where it went from plus one to zero. So that's a disproportionation reaction. Is the following a disproportionation reaction? And if so, what element is becoming both oxidized and reduced? Well, look, I've actually drawn out the oxidation numbers here, which is quite nice. So we have chlorine starts out as zero. And over here, it goes to negative one. You can see the negative one there telling us the oxidation state. And over here, it tells us that chlorine goes to plus five. So it's being reduced, going to negative one, and oxidized, going to plus five. So chlorine is our answer. It gets both oxidized and reduced, chlorine does, okay? Let's look at some of the other folks. We have oxygen, goes from negative one to negative two, so what is that? That's being reduced, right? And it also goes to a negative two, that's still redu reduced. Hydrogen starts at plus one, stays at plus one, so we don't have them being both oxidized and reduced like we have chlorine. So chlorine is the answer.